I'm going to be talking about my experience in Jamaica. Now, I was in Jamaica, I traveled solo. Solo travel everywhere else is, you know, tolerable. Like if you tell people you're traveling solo in other parts of the world, most parts of the world, they will tell you, okay, oh, how do you go about it? But once you just mention that you're going to Jamaica, people start asking you, oh, are you traveling alone? Is it safe? <laughs> well, I did travel solo in Jamaica. And then I'm going to tell you what I liked and what I hated about my trip to Jamaica. So stay with me. Now, I was in Jamaica for a total of um, one week. And then I booked a flight from Houston, Texas to Montego Bay. Now, how did I plan my trip, you know, to Jamaica? First of all, I have a Nigerian passport. And so I do require a visa <laughs> to visit Jamaica. And what I did was that I applied for a visa. If you would like to know how to, um, how I got my visa, I shared a video on how Nigerian passport holders can apply for a visa. So if you check, um, I'm going to include the link, you know, and then also if you do check the description box, you would find the link to that video. So go watch it so you know how you can apply. So I applied for a visa and then I, um, I got a ticket. How did I book my flight ticket? I went on Skyscanner spell it out here <laughs> i went to skyscanner and then i looked for a flight you know to jamaica now when i landed um i um, of course went through immigration and then there are options you know when you land at the airport you can either take a taxi i wasn't in montego bay i was in i think it was called, it's called Trelawney. Trelawney. <laughs> you know it was maybe like 35 minutes from the airport so i tried getting a taxi and then of course taxis told me i had to pay like 60 dollars and i thought it was a bit of a price but i saw the tour bus um option which you know was like 25 dollars and it was interesting i actually did like that experience so i opted for the tour bus the only setback was that you have to wait you know for the bus to fill up well not fill up or they must have like a reasonable number of people before they would depart that was fine i wasn't in a hurry I did arrive early and so it was okay for me to um, wait you know i think i waited for just about maybe 45 minutes to an hour yeah i waited in the bus you know and then the bus on its own the tour bus was just an interesting part of the journey like the tour started from you know from the airport because from the airport because the driver kind of pointed you know gave us pointers about the places that we should see the things that we should do and all that it was beautiful now where did i stay and how did i book my trip i booked an all-inclusive um resort i booked um i used my marriott um bonvoy app to book a place now it was important i was traveling alone and so i wanted to stay somewhere that they would cater for my needs cater to my needs so i don't have to maybe like extend maybe you know leave where i'm staying to go look for food because by the time you read about um you know visiting jamaica you know it just makes you afraid i'm not saying you should be afraid it's totally okay to travel around but i just did not want to because of i also considered maybe the expense of having to go find the things that i wanted you know i just thought okay let me stay in an all-inclusive resort and then just it was a holiday for me i wanted to pamper myself and so I booked a Marriott, um, I booked a, one with my Marriott Bonvoy app and then we had a beach, it was beautiful. I had um, breakfast, um, lunch, you know, and dinner, that's all inclusive. And then, you know, of course they had, it was open bar as well, you could drink, um, they had like free cocktails by the beach and, you know, there was, there was food, <laughs> food all around the clock. So that was the beauty of it. I just had, I didn't have to bother about where I was going to eat or where I was going to hang out. I could have, I could have spent all the, the entire trip in my resort, but no, I did not do that. I still spent time to explore the city and I'm going to tell you everything that I did. Jamaica 
<laughs> it wasn't the cheapest um, destination that I have visited. As a matter of fact, I think in the Caribbean, it's one of the expensive, you know, destinations. What is expensive? The transportation. I realized that moving from place to place, you know, was really, really expensive because it's not really easy to connect because once you're staying in the resort, you know, the resorts are like um, secluded, you know, they're like maybe by the beach. So if you just by the coastline, so if you do want to get out, it means you have to call a taxi to come and take you to the places you need to go. And it was expensive. I was paying about as much as $100, $150 to go from point A to point B. And of course I was told that, okay, the price of, you know, fuel, gas is expensive. But I thought it was really expensive, you know, like a 45 minute journey would cost you as much as a hundred dollars, you know, you wouldn't go anywhere for less than $50. Like that was expensive really. So I, um, what I did not like about it was the cost. It was how expensive it was to move around. And because I was by myself, it meant that if I needed to go somewhere, I had to pay a hundred percent for the, my, my, my ride there. Now, if I was traveling with someone, it would have been easy because I would have um, maybe like shared the cost of um, transportation with that person, but I had to, you know, handle that cost by myself and I did not like it. Now, another thing I did not like about visiting Jamaica was just how unprofessional um, the, the guys, as in the staff of the hotel where I stayed. Now, I was traveling by myself and then I had an instance where a security guard, you know, approached me on the beach, he harassed me on the beach. Of course, you don't need to worry about me. I took care of it. I know how to take care <laughs> I know how to take care of myself. I took care of it, but I'm just telling you that I was offended by that. You know, I did report the issue to the hotel. They told me, okay, they made me write like a statement and told me that they were going to address it and maybe like send me an email once that is on. Now, I, now I understand when you have outsiders like really harass um, people, particularly female um, travelers. Now we hear a lot of horrific stories about Jamaica, but we still visit these places. Now, if other people who are ignorant are making it appear true, not your staff, you know, train your staff to respect, you know, guests, train your staff to, you know, just give everyone in respect man or woman so i was harassed by a security um personnel in um um in, in you know at the, at the hotel where i was staying where i was paying and now i paid a lot for it was all inclusive i was paying money to be harassed so <laughs> i did not find that funny i did not like that and because of that i do think that um it just was a representation of um the men you know there because that was not the only one yes outside the hotel i did i had instances where you know i just found that maybe the men were just a bit too forward and too arrogant just being overly over presumptuous i'm not i'm not that person you mess with you know i'm, I'm not just i'm not i'm serious <laughs> you know i'm not that person you know because i have i'm not very patient you know i have very little patience for nonsense because i wouldn't go out you know disrespect disrespecting you outright so i also usually expect the same um and um, you know respects because i'm not the person who messes around i'm not the person who just behaves anyhow i comport myself and then I, of course when i'm trying to you know if you ask me a question and then i'm just trying to be nice you should just sense it to know when to stop you know and i just felt like um the men were a bit too forward but like in the hotel where i stayed the security guard harassed me and then i reported to the hotel and another thing is because um like um because of maybe all the negative things you hear now i'm not saying they are true i always tell people don't listen to what the say go see even the destinations where people tell you oh, okay it's too risky you cannot visit jamaica is a very lovely place and i loved my time there but i just realized that if you travel solo you know because maybe you might be afraid to venture off on your own you might actually isolate yourself like what i'm talking about it might not be a bad idea like if you pick like a really nice all-inclusive resort then there's a possibility that your resort is going to have activities park you're going to have fun but what that does is that it may isolate isolate you you may be reluctant to go out and explore like get into the city you know meet the locals because you think it is not safe so but if you have someone with you then you'll be it'll be easy for you to make some bad decisions you know and deal with it so that's one thing that I did not like about because you know i thought maybe that i would i should have done i would have 
been able to do more if I thought that it was safe for me to go into where the locals are and maybe interact with them. It was a city that I thought, okay, I could move around. Now, I'm not saying that you can't move around. There are people who travel and then they're able to do that. But because I was traveling by myself and then I was just trying to do what felt comfortable, I was reluctant to do that. So that was when I, I was reluctant to just go out and explore and maybe interact with the locals in the villages. I just had to restrict myself to my resort and then the touristy part of um, Jamaica. And that is what I did. What I loved about visiting Jamaica, there was so, there's, there's so much adventure. You know, I had my first ATV ride, you know, drive in Jamaica. It was beautiful. I had this with a team of people that I connected with. It was really, really beautiful. I'm going to show you the experience. It's a beautiful day in Jamaica where I'm taking the ATV ride in the jungle. Like, it's so cool. So stay with me, I'm going to show you. I'm dealing with a team of people. Pull and push and pull. So if you're making a left turn, you're gonna pull with the left hand, push with the right. Right turn likewise, pull with the right, push with the left. All right. Don't River Falls is something you should not miss when you're visiting Jamaica. I don't know how to explain it, but I can show you. I zip lined over the Dunce River Falls. It was the best experience ever, and it's something that you should also consider. And Honestly, don't know why I'm doing this. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't. Look at that. Oh my god. Anyway. Another thing I did was the was rafting and I did that in the Madabri um, River. Now the rafting I did share a video of my experience. If you want to watch it, you know, if you want to watch the full length of it, you know, you can go watch it. But it's certainly an experience you should have when you uh, when you visit Jamaica. Matt, this is Madabri. Madabri River. <laughs> Rap team. And your captain is? And my captain, I'm gonna switch. Captain is Captain Peter. Captain Peter. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> this is the best experience I've had ever. You can see the bamboo. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. Yeah, man. It is very peaceful and beautiful. Oh, one year? <laughs> okay. Yes. Stick in the water. All right. And you push. All right. Take it up back. Take it up. Take it up. Take it up out of shore. Take it up. Take it up. Take it up more. Take it up more. Yeah. Take it up more. Take it up more. Take it up. Take it up. All right. You put it straight down. Straight. Straight, you want to put it straight, all right? Yeah. Put, all right, push it on, all right? Take your time now, rotate your hand up, rotate your hand. Up. 
Now, if you do want to buy souvenirs, like, um, of course, it would be better if you, like, go, you know, to the village, you know, try and avoid those souvenir shops that you have maybe on the highway or very close to your resorts. They are very expensive. Like, I'm going to be showing you this particular bottle of um, whiskey and rum that I got from that store, you know, this it's it, 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 it's expensive. I saw the same thing at the airport for $25, whereas they were selling selling it in the store at $120 20 and, and telling me, okay, they were giving me a discount and sold it, you know, they sold it at $75. So be wary about the souvenir stores, you know, that are close to the resorts. So this is the price, you know, I found at the store. I bought a few bottles and then I got to the airport and boom, $25. Like, <laughs> if you want to buy your room, wait till you get to the airport. It is cheaper at the airport. Do not buy from those souvenir stores that are close to the resort. If you need to buy, maybe you should go into the market where the locals would actually buy from. But if you buy from those souvenir stores, they are overpriced. Yes, they are targeted, you know, at tourists. And then I don't mind people making a few bucks on things, but when it's like, you know, 400% of the amount, come on now, like seriously, no. I'm not doing that, so don't buy from them, buy from the airport. I liked um, the food. The food is also um, an amazing adventure. They did have fried plantain. Yes, it is a Nigerian thing. We love it. We love fried plantain. And the god of fried plantain is in Jamaica. So I love the meals that I had. I love the jack chicken. I love the rice and the peas. The food was good. So the food was an amazing part, you know, of... Um, my trip to Jamaica, it was beautiful. The food is good. They do get me. They do get it. They do get it. They got it right. Um, what's the take home on this? You know, yes, should you travel solo in Jamaica? Um, based on my experience, I, of course, I always make the best of, you know, anything, whether I'm alone or I have company. But I don't think you should go solo. You would have more fun if you go with a group of friends or you go with a partner or just about anything. I wouldn't really advise you to go solo. You know, of course, there are people who, this is my opinion, I think you you, should, you will be able to maximize your trip in Jamaica if you have company because you will be able to venture to places, you know, beaten paths without, you know, the fear of wondering what might go wrong. So, and then of course you would be able to share cost, you know, because it was expensive to move around. And of course I wasn't going to be using public transport, you know, there. So if share, because for two reasons, because one, shared cost, so it would make it cheaper. And then two, you would maximize your trip by not, you know, restricting yourself to a particular area just because you're trying to be safe. So it wasn't my favorite solo travel destination, but it was definitely one of my best experiences in the Caribbean. I did like it. I like Jamaica. I love it's so green. The land is so green. I love the ocean. It is a beautiful destination. The people and then I love the language. Yaman, yeah, Yaman. Yeah, the people are really friendly, you know, like I love the vibe, you know, they're happy people, you know. So here is my experience, you know, in Jamaica. Have you been to Jamaica before? Did you like it? You know, what and what and what did you do? Where did you visit? Let me know. Leave your comment here and let's chat. See you.